Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com, back here with the ROM review for your Nexus 4 device. And this one is called TW Touch Wiz Nexus UI for your Nexus 4 device. As you can see right away, you got a nice Touch Wiz look for your Nexus 4 device. And I recently did a video for the Galaxy Nexus, and uh, probably a lot of you, I know about like uh, 10 of you guys commented, oh, where's the version for ne uh, Nexus 4 and all that, so. I went ahead, uh, gone through some digging and found a version, this isn't the same ROM but it's similar for TouchWiz for your Nexus 4 device so hopefully this does satisfy you and you will stop commenting but I did enjoy that uh, ROM review and thanks for all the comments. So as you can see everything is very similar to TouchWiz, I'm not, let me actually get my Galaxy S3, this one's currently running on Hyperdrive but is uh, running on TouchWiz so if we go here as you can see the animations are uh, actually exactly the same. Uh, the background is the same as a stock um, Galaxy S3 device, so as you can see, it is the same. Let's go into the app drawer. It has the same animation, almost the same. Um, for the top, it is very, very similar. As you can see on the top, it is similar. Um, go ahead. As you can swipe, uh, go ahead and tap on widgets, and you can see us uh, widgets are pretty darn similar too. So it was very, very similar. And let's actually go into uh, settings. So settings and settings. And you can see the icons here are changed actually to uh, look more similar to a TouchWiz Galaxy S3 one. So the theme has been changed as you can see uh, like the sound, the display has the same icons, storage has the same icons, battery. As you can just see a uh, very very similar to TouchWiz and you can see a very side to side uh, look at how similar they are. Uh, very very similar. Um, obviously um, some things are limited for each side of the device just because it's limited for a Nexus 4 device and limited to a Galaxy S3 TouchWiz device. But as you can see overall it is very very similar to um, uh, Galaxy S3 TouchWiz uh, phone uh, for your Nexus 4 device which is supposed to be running on pure Android. And if you don't know it's still running on pure Android just that the look of it is TouchWiz and some widgets I have uh, from ported from a TouchWiz Galaxy S3 device and a Note and all that. But you are still running on 4.2.2 so that's awesome, latest Android version, very very good. Um, you got kernel base band all that, you know you can see all the versions and everything. Icons like I mentioned earlier look very very similar in the settings, animations look very similar. Um, only one thing, one problem I have with this uh, ROM is that when you put icons in the middle it actually blocks the um, navigations which um, page you're on. So one easy way just to fix this is just to move it out, you know, just move it out and just put one icon here and put your app drawer there. Uh, you can't move the app drawer so it's always permanently there and you can just put one icon there. It doesn't look bad, it looks fine, you know, to me. You can just put maybe your favorite um, app that you constantly use, maybe Chrome or a browser app right there or Gmail, you know, like me, I always constantly use that. Um, but I got my phone call right there. Um, but that's one easy way to fix it. I haven't really found a way to fix it. Even if you look in settings, there isn't a way. But overall, it's very, very clean. Uh, looks very similar to a TouchWiz device. You could probably fool a person that's never really seen um, a TouchWiz, you know, or compared to a pure Android um, uh, ROM. And they, you'll, they'll probably believe this is running at TouchWiz if they do know what that is. Um, so that's pretty darn awesome. Um, there are customization features in here too. So if we go into lock screen. Uh, you can do screen security, you can change the default background, so you can change it to a, a color, solid color, uh, you can change it to a custom image or default wallpaper, uh, which is already default, I haven't changed that, uh, battery status on charging, you know, maximum widgets, so if we go ahead and maximize that widgets, and you can even add slider shortcuts like I did on a CM10 ROM review, I believe I did it for the Nexus 4, if I'm right, I, no I think it was for the Galaxy S3. <laughs> Um, so you can add um, like camera here, okay, and you can add another one here if you want. You can even add, not doesn't necessarily have to be applications, it can be anything you really want to be, but go ahead and save it. And now when you check on your lock screen, you actually have uh, lock screen shortcuts targets, which is awesome. And you can obviously add more shortcuts if you want, you can add you know any widget you really want, uh, digital clock. Let's go ahead and add another digital clock, and you have one right there. And as you can see, it's even themed. The clock is a little changed. Um, it's pretty, yeah, it's the same as a Galaxy S3 clock, so it's almost very, very similar. This one's just a little bit smaller. But overall, it looks very, very the same, and um, I like it, you know? I like it. So if you're looking for um, a ROM that has a touch with, you know, features and look of it, but you still get that speedy, pure Android um, 
uh, RAM for your next for device. This is definitely a RAM to look into. Definitely try it out if you want to. Maybe if you wanted a Galaxy S3, maybe you couldn't afford it, or you know your parents or whoever didn't get it for you, and said you got a Nexus 4 device. Maybe this will compensate for you guys. Um, but that's just basic look at TW Touch with Nexus UI RAM for your Nexus 4 device. Um, link down below for this RAM if you want to get it right ahead. I would recommend you get it. And don't forget to install G apps with this RAM as you do need to install G apps. And that's about it guys, thanks for watching, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button in the bottom left hand corner, as that does really help me out a lot, and please consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as well, because I do upload about 4 videos per week, all Android, all related to the Android, just about all the time, so thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and link down below to the ROM, and follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, all links down below, that's about it guys, thanks for watching, peace.